So I'd like to call the meeting to order. Um, is anybody taping this meeting? Blake Camp, thank you very much. So I'd like to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. What's that? <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance. To, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. So like we have for the last many months, we're meeting with Judge Cornock from SERP, had to discuss the master plan draft. And we're gonna discuss the public workshop held on January 11th. And uh, a few more things after that, but without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to you. Thank you, Jed. Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. Uh, so everybody got a copy of your final draft of your master plan. It's got all um, nine elements included, and those nine elements include the vision, land use, housing, economic development, natural and cultural resources, open space and recreation, services and facilities, transportation and circulation, and importantly, implementation. Um, and so each chapter is laid out uh, with, you know, the accompanying <coughs> drone shot, um, and uh, it's organized in a way that your goals are listed, you know, very prominently, nice big bold blue ink. Um, it gives a general description of each goal and then outlines the strategies that are associated with uh, that specific goal, identifies who the responsible parties are, and then outlines performance measures and complementary actions. So that's your, uh, your structure of the master plan. I just want to um, bring your attention to the 11 by 17 uh, holdouts. Uh, they're in the back of the plan. You've got two sets. Your first is your implementation matrix. So again, uh, from left to right, it's that first fold out sink. This one here, the matrix. Just on your left hand. You got it there. This one? That one, yep. So essentially the way it's organized is on the far left is your goals, and then you have your strategies right next to them. Any complementary actions to the, to the column to the right. Some basic main steps. Um, so, for example, <coughs> if you're developing a zoning bylaw and you don't have one in-house, you're researching um, example guide, uh, uh, bylaws, developing your own language, uh, bringing it to uh, the planning board for your public hearings, and then going to uh, town meeting, uh, and ultimately a, a approval for that. And then uh, you have lead parties, other responsible parties, some uh, supportive state and federal programs, and then um, some supportive services or partnerships. And then importantly, um, what we figured may be helpful for you guys uh, and for all the town committees is a timeline. Um, and by all means, you don't have to stick to this, uh, you know, uh, rigidness here, but the idea is to sort of guide the town for the next 10 years on strategies that they should implement uh, in each one of those years. So it's a nice, easy printout that you can hang on a wall somewhere and just check it off as you as you complete it. But it outlines, like I said, uh, the 10-year uh, plan. So if you go all the way to the end, uh, you'll see uh, the last three years of the plan, 28, 29, and 30. Um, we coded, to the best of our ability, um, high-priority elements. So for example, on the first page, uh, what we heard loud and clear from folks at the public workshops was hiring a town planner was very important to the town. Uh, so we indicated that as a high priority item. And so generally speaking, we've got a high priority item in each one of those years. Sometimes you ha may have two or three. Um, but that's essentially the layout. Uh, and then obviously references in the back, <coughs> some of the planning documents that we referenced throughout the plan itself. And then you have an index of all of your figures and maps. This document itself is just the main text. We're still producing the appendix, which, which is um, all of your workshop summary reports. You'll have all of your maps, large size maps, and um, all of the demographic data that is not only included in the plan itself, but then uh, some of the things that we included as part of the presentations, as well as the uh, demographic board uh, at all of the workshops. So it's, uh, it's a lot of information, but uh, I hope it reads really well and easy to follow and the implementation really is is the key part so it's I think I misunderstood I thought we were supposed to read what you had given us at the last 
or a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Because I did find a couple of things. I don't know if they're if you want me to mention them. Sure. All of this text, the very same yeah. text, just made its way into here. This was laid out in words so that right. it was easy. This to, is to final, edit. right? You, Draft final. So oh, essentially, okay. this is your all opportunity right. to read through it, make sure it yep. all looks good to you. And then this, the question really for the board is how you want to, or the committee, how you want <clears> to, <throat> do you have to take action on it? Do you have to approve it on behalf of the planning board? Uh, because I am uh, presenting this information to the planning board in March. So I believe it's March 12th that I'll be before them. So, so Zink, wouldn't you want to get... I believe it's <coughs> the next meeting. Do you, yes, we, it will be the next meeting. Yep. So do we have enough to... Um, we don't have enough. Enough to hand five of them to our... Zink's got one, but four more so that they can read it before... You can have these two. The we, plan was they to... They take mine. We talked yeah. about... Uh, I'll take mine back. Yeah. I have a printed copy. I was going to send it. One, so. You want to do that, Zink? Well, if I can figure out... Yes. Yeah, you have to. Okay. I, I, I was going to, I promised them last night, we had a meeting last night, uh, and I promised them that when I got back I was going to uh, send them the link that I had just read, and I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so I, it's easier to so look I have at to send it in this something. format, though, than it would yeah. ever be to look that link, just looking at that and trying to get all the stuff. But this I, isn't, the, this yeah. isn't the final format. Yeah, I, I, You're okay I if we take It's as final okay, as you get, really. The, the, the only format that you would change in here would be the text, any of the text. But I would, most of uh, the text is pretty much final, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, I got a couple of things I think that need to I be wanna, changed. Sure, sure. Yes. But th then Zinc, once I'm the missing, master I'm plan. I'm missing the maps. That's in the going to be in the appendix. Mas, mas, no. Well, that's what. Th that's the only thing I. Which I, maps? I don't care about the whole rest of it. Which maps were, were you missing? All of them. Well, they're in it. So, so for example, uh, you've got a housing map here. So, in your housing section, you've got your. <coughs> I'll show you. Just, just I can't the unfold page. it. You want to unfold it. So those will yes. be in the appendix. So all of those bigger maps will be 11 by 17 in the appendix. For yes, you. we agreed to that. Yep, yep. So, Zink, I think what happens is once master plan, I mean, planning board approves it, uh, we'll have an article on the town meeting. You can. And yeah, the okay. planning board will get up. Uh, I'll look up what we did I mean, the last time after planning board approved it. we need that it. before March 6th. The well, you can put that on any uh, time. Can you have the special? You you can you. stop harassing us with that <laughs> March sixth date. I'm keeping my schedule, pal. Well, the <laughs> can, you're not the helping. With, you're not helping with the items. The, <laughs> don't get done. You're not but required. The can do any time. Okay. They don't have to. The special's fine too. Yeah, <clears> that might be better to put something on. Because you we probably just don't had have financial to. on the special. Just to keep in mind, you're not required to bring it to town meeting. It, it is only required that the planning board endorse it. But it was but just to get the word out there. Absolutely. Now we can have it online with, you know, five, it wasn't online. Sure, sure. Yep. So, yeah, that's, okay. do you want to go through? Yeah, just a couple of things under open space and recreation. When we talk about. On one page. Which in page? This, in this part, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The same. It should still it, line up. It'll still line up. Yep. Okay. Yep. Under key data, we talk about uh, Lakeville contains significant open space and undeveloped land. Place names. What, such what's the page on this, Judd? 58. <coughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, key data. Okay. Yep. Yeah, key information. Yeah, we just changed the website. It says, place names such as Betty's Neck, Loom Pond, Clear Pond. Park and Ted Williams, not to mention the Aswamps at Ponds. I think it should be Aswamps at Pond Complex. Complex. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is just a minor thing. My page 25, which is strategy 631. 631. Okay, yeah. that would be page. Yes. 63. Yeah, uh, the first sentence, the Lakeville Open Space Committee's town web page can be improved to list of community. I think of shouldn't be in there at all. Okay. D am I right? That doesn't make... 
grammatical. Town's web page can be improved to list community playgrounds, right? So just extract. Uh, list of. Can be improved to list of community. Right, so if you scratch To list of. the community okay. or just get take rid of, of. Yeah, just get rid of of. Get rid yep. of, of yeah. Okay. Uh, chapter 7, key data. Okay. That's page 68. Uh, second paragraph. We talk about significant renovations to the historic town hall. We made significant renovations to the town offices, not okay. the historic town hall. So you have to take out historic okay. and put town offices instead of town hall. We refer to this building as, so right? True, but we did do access on Just, historic and town And that's hall. what I thought it was at first. So it's kind of two different things put it together. Got it. Yeah. But when you read for accessibility and moving critical services to the first yep. floor, I it thought the same thing, one. that it was the ramp. Yeah. So but. you need to separate that into two separate. Piece of cake. Good catch. And again, uh, under strategy 711. Page 68, uh, yep. That the fire department is located next to the historic town hall. It's next door to the town offices. Town offices again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And and under the example of success stories, uh, Maureen, I don't know if you got to read our feasibility study done in 07 about the fire department. I don't know how much they got into. Uh, it's been so long since I read it. I didn't know if we wanted... Whenever we do get the money to do it, uh, what a do you call it? A new feasibility study? A feasibility <coughs> study. We did have one done. Yeah, but that was doing this whole building. It was, and um, and they kind of, they they did a nice job. It was a nice rendition, but we've changed all this downstairs mm -hmm. yeah. already. Yeah. This is all, you know, completely reconfigured. And it's a different fire chief. Yep. So what he wants for the yeah. guys is they probably do, different. Yeah, so. and he is doing a uh, needs assessment right now. So are you saying instead of update this 07 one, just do a, a completely new one? Well, Is it, it could be either, right? Or yeah. update, change, amend, and... Or yeah, I think doing an updated do assessment. Yeah. Yeah. W what you have is fine. Okay. It's just I wanted to mention to yeah. Maureen, I didn't, I couldn't remember if there was an assessment on yeah. space needs for that, just them. Yep. And I believe there is, and there was two different scenarios, one for Howland Road... Mm -hmm. uh, by yeah. the schools, yeah. yeah, and then the the addition, actually three scenarios, mm -hmm. and one of them was part of the Ted Williams, on, yep, yeah, Pickens, which yep. would, would be a really horrible intersection to add yeah. a emergency <laughs> services <Yeah. laughs> to to zoom in and out of. But yes, uh, then under seven two two. Seven two two. Support is the highway department's efforts to improve and upgrade their administration building. Page seventy three. So, third sentence, I think it is. Of concern is the current administration building built in 1995. It actually was never built. It was a portable classroom. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So Wheeled in. <laughs> I How about think settled? No. Uh, 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 this module of <laughs> yeah. structure. Wheeled over. Wheeled over. <laughs> this module of portable classroom. Was installed. <laughs> Installed. 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 Yeah. In 1990. For, for old. Hours. Maybe the, the old, because it was really bad then. Yes. We had it out behind S. Womps that when we were doing, yeah. we had two portable classrooms. Okay. Well, yeah, those are installed. And then if you keep reading, after lack of office space, comma, yeah. you need the word and. A failing heating system. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You can take my that, that would be helpful. Want. And this is just a question. Um, is Pop Warner, when, when you met with Park, I thought Pop Warner football went to another town. Are we going to have Pop Warner back it's, at the fields? It's the AFJC, not Pop Warner. I'll have to look because I think you, you're right. There is a change. Yeah, they install the lights and everything on the fields, but I don't believe. So under 731. Yeah. 
providing more staff to support the maintenance needs. Sure. And I just circled. I don't think. What I think they're hoping football goes on the new fields. No, those are multi-purpose fields. So the way that uh, it was told to me last time we asked about it, uh, lacrosse and yeah. soccer would be the major uh, sports played on those two new, new fields. So, yeah, we can clarify whether or not mm. more is there. That's easy. You guys are going to not stand me. Uh, chapter 8, key data, yeah. transportation and circulation. <coughs> Second sentence, wherever Paper page you, are we on? 84. 84. Yep. Whenever you cite as well as, that's supposed to be in commas. Okay. Look at them. And again, we won't look at it, but we talked about other busy roadways such as Precinct Street, Howland Road, and Highland Road. Freetown Street with the schools, wouldn't we include... Freetown Street, I, or no? I you don't think, think that, so? I think that's almost just as busy. It is, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, as I live down toward, toward yeah. the Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All the buses yeah. go that yeah. way. Yeah. So that's under... 811. 811. Anyone Page who lives 86. on Bellsbrook can never leave their driveway. Mm. Okay. <laughs> can never leave the cul-de-sac. That comma I won't even mention, okay. It's good. And You're like an eagle eye. This is good. Oh, well, always a business yeah, it's major. Good. Um, the pavement management plan, I thought it says last updated in 2016. I thought we had intermittent updates. Didn't you check with Franklin? The pavement management plan, he just recently? He indicated 16 was, his, was the last time okay. it had been All right. updated. All right. I can double check, but yeah. that would be... Typically, an update includes the consultant <coughs> coming back out, doing all the evaluations again, mm. whereas you know, you might be considering an update like when a repaving job goes in, they just sort of key into the software system. So there's two different things. The update is much more involved. Okay. Then you might be right. I don't think he has done that because I haven't seen it. I don't believe he has. Yeah. No. And in the beginning, I was going to add town coordinated to more of these uh, mm -hmm. categories, but the one that I think we should is under economic development, okay. talking about updating our business um, economic development guide. Guide. Yep. The because design. our town coordinator, Lorraine, yes. was on all. the EDC yeah. to begin with. She uh, was on economic development when we did the first guide, yeah. and that's something she's very good at. Yeah. Page 41. Oh, back in 41. Yep. Strategy 421. Yeah, I would, uh, that's the biggest one I felt that the town <coughs> coordinator should be in there with town administrator. Okay. With her business background, she's really good at that stuff. <coughs> that was it for me. Okay. Those are easy. Yeah, so I think it, it would make sense for you all to take some time to go through it and just make sure that it all looks good to you. If you've got edits that need to be made, we can we can do those easy. And then it's really just deciding on, you know, um, if you want to, we certainly can sync. We can add those larger maps as 11 by 17 in the report. It's completely up to the committee. Uh, we only included them like this just simply to, you know, cut down on the amount of ins and outs that you've got. Because I think we discussed that uh, in the past about the, the number and the size of the maps, if my memory serves. <coughs> I don't remember the details exactly. Yeah, Is we it? did. I thought we were going to have. But if it's in the it's appendix, okay. do you think the other members will want to see the map, if they have the smaller map? No, it's no there's you. like, uh, there are like two maps in here, one of, one of them being this, that somebody's going to immediately want and... <laughs> and read like maybe a, if you have at least you know, that's one the, thing. the night of the meeting sure. um, if we had uh, if we had walls anywhere that we could have maps on or if we had blackboards or any any place to work at all like people normally work with information but we don't have any of those you're talking things, about for your so meeting correct for oh okay meetings. I was going to say yeah so at, the at over the years, we, we, we very often need stuff like like this and we never have it got it 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Does that. I mean, we can print you out a, a new set of, of the big ones, but you're, oh. if you have nowhere to put them, then I can see where that would be a challenge. Yeah. No, well, we have a much better them. deal now yeah. over at, at, at the, the police, police station. station. Yeah. Right. And, just and ask we're that. just learning how to do that. And just before your meeting, uh, I mean, like several hours before you show up, uh, I will have learned how to project it, okay. what you bring. Okay. And so you'll have to bring, you know, bring something along that we can project onto the, yeah. uh, which which will be just, you know, you, you, you just have to pretend that you're putting it up on a uh, plain old uh, screen, and we'll take care of the uh, okay. amplification. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be testing another system right when you show up. Yeah. Great. That, I was just going to say that the leverage of technology, so if they have the, the, uh, uh, the technology available to display versus going through the expense of having SERPED print them and then maybe not be able right. to, to store them somewhere, right. I would advocate for the low cost or almost no cost of <laughs> yeah, the technology right. to display it so your team members can take a look at it and, and toggle back and forth if they need to, blow it up if they need to, um, you know, et cetera. But that's just one person's opinion. I don't know if, uh, if the rest of you feel that volunteer. way or not. What? If you need help, like, and volunteer Lorraine to help out. Oh, well, I've already arranged time with Lorraine. Perfect. We, we have, I'm on her schedule, she's on our schedule, Perfect. you know, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, this will be a formal. When's your next meeting? I, I don't remember. You met last night? We met last 12. night, so it's two weeks from now. Yeah. So what I can do is if I have four of these, I'll leave <clears> on <throat> Kathy's desk with a note for her to call me oh, on sure. Monday, okay. yeah. and she'll make sure each of the other four members stop by and picks it up so that they can review it. They don't actually have to vote to approve it at their next meeting or before the contract expires. No. No, it's but at least they have time to read it. Yeah. Okay. You know, obviously, provided that there's no significant changes, we can always yeah. modify it. It's not. It's not. No, it's not. That it's just, we're going to change the color of a couple of these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, yeah. which is, if you can imagine how many people live on that particular little line, and they're all capable of showing up to our meetings, and yeah. they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and this is their big social event, you know, and they have a great time with the Alliance. <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Chamberlain had a uh, uh, had a question. Do we want to keep in You've the picture of the place that no longer exists opposite page 97? Is it Island Terrace? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I drove by there the other day. It was saddened to see yeah. that. I think you're sad. That my summer cottage taken down. <laughs> I was hoping the Deacus family would have done something. Now we had no interest in it at all. Call me on no, Monday no. about these. Well, they, they still own most of the picture. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, most yeah. of the way up the hill. Up the hill. Fact, yeah. what the, Here, the, here's the guy, a really oh, silly I can't, suggestion. Hard to Can we Photoshop it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> to omit the building. Yeah, or like I, blur it. It doesn't hurt to keep it in there. Could pixelate well, it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about, looking. I'm just joking the, about the pixelation. This is, make it look like a big hole in the ground. This is supposed to be hole in the ground. 8.46 acres, something like that. Yeah. I, I can't see where the 8.6 is. Here do I. It's, I, I I'll, I'll, <laughs> that doesn't include the water. It doesn't include the bottom part of the hill or the boathouse that's over there. So it doesn't yeah. include our bogs. It doesn't include the it doesn't include most of the hill in the back. Go in the hill, yeah. hill in the back over here, right? Uh, right. Because, and this is like a real big deal to the planning board, because we, you know, what he's building on, uh, we have some say in. What he's not, but what Dacus is, we can't say in anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just, I just brought it up because it doesn't exist anymore, and here's a new <laughs> right, document, right. you know? Yeah. Eventually, the only access is going to be a helipad. <laughs> nice. So why don't I do this? I'll go back into the minutes and I'll um, refer back to the map size and see what um, <coughs> previous meetings we had. I don't know if we. If, I, if I was that. I don't think we were that detailed. detailed. How about yeah. the videos? Maybe the videos. Yes. We could probably dig that out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Doing eleven by seventeen. That's not a problem. This <laughs> maybe right, twelve. Speaking of, of that. What 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 is that little red thing there? That's. That's what you were showing there. That's probably that, yeah. But that, that's nothing city town about it. That's absolutely private, uh, Dacus's private property. Yes, private property. Yes, private property. Yeah. And we own an easement through the Betty's Neck business. To get to the back, yeah. To get, well, to get to the back and to get to some other places. Yeah. Um, but that really, 
Red usually means that it's undefined or unaccepted, meaning that the town does not receive money from oh. the state oh. to maintain it. Okay. Well, it's, it certainly doesn't because yep. it, you know, the town just has no interest, has hardly any interest in it at all, right. except that it has a, it has an easement that it got through buying Betty's neck, mm -hmm. and only that way. Okay. Thank oh, you for that observation, Sink. Sorry. Okay. Any other thoughts? Okay. Yeah, so my plan was to email Kathy, because we had been corresponding to set up uh, my appearance before the planning board with the link t with the digital plan, and then she can distribute the link to all the members, too. But if you need additional paper copies of this this guy here, we can we can supply those. That's, you just give us a number, and we can... just want to use some of ours. You can use these. We've got yeah. two here. Yeah, I was going to say, we, okay, yeah, we, we have three. enough here. Yeah. You can have mine. Well, that, that you're number five. Okay. So I'm going to leave four too. of them oh. with Kathy to call me on Monday, and she'll make sure she gets some. Uh, well, actually, See, you know, I'm the happy board to have it just digital. Why don't we give them to the board of I, I prefer board. just digital. Right. Yes, I think you have, if you have both okay. me, but, media. But, then but we need a lot for, for the people, yeah, and we need. Some and we need a way for yeah. to get the picture to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now, we have to yeah. always hang it up on Mine. the easel. <laughs> yeah, twenty. Yeah. And he takes it. And he looks at it. Man you can hardly be. Yeah. Okay. It just doesn't work very well. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. Two weeks. Any other observations, comments, concerns? All right. In the interest of time, we'll move forward to the next. Does the committee itself need to, at some point, recommend this to the planning board for there, or do they need? Is just in the matter I guess of process. I would do a memo. I think you'd probably want to take some action on it. I'm just just to make it official. To yeah. I think that otherwise we should. I don't know what they're yeah. voting on to. If we haven't actually sent them the report as a matter of that's a good so maybe right? I'll a good observation. do a memo. Or I'll forward it, I'll yeah. type up something, forward it to Lorraine, and she can put it on letterhead. Sounds good. So what do you yeah, want to say? Yeah, that works. I mean, yeah. is that acceptable to everybody? Will that, uh, satisfy, <coughs> will that satisfy the need? Yes, make that a motion. Yeah. All right. So yeah. somebody somebody make you want to make a motion? Zink, it sounds like yeah. you made that motion, man. No, he started. He started. All right. I'll make the yeah. motion that we approve the draft um, master plan proposal. And forward to the planning board. And forward it to the planning board. Second. Anybody? Second. Second. Jim, thank you. All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Motion carries right. unanimously. That, that should have a date attached. Just attach a date to it. Whatever this is. Yep. Is this Great. dated? What? Yeah. What, whatever the iteration. Yeah. Whatever it, it might not be this date, and if but it's the not date this of day, the right. yeah, whenever it gets officially whatever you that's the date the that gets right. approved. Yeah, so right. we held off on that until okay. Yep. Until that. That sounds like a good motion. Yeah. At the planning board, we're we're used to dating things carefully. That's good. All right. But I'll Excellent. put the date we voted on it. That works. All right. So. Uh, Agenda item uh, 2B. So there's not much to say, but other than, you know, the, the public workshop went really well. I mm -hmm. thought the um, folks <coughs> made them around and provided um, very supportive comments. That's really what we heard. Um, what was the body count about? What, 100 people? I think uh, I think in the end it was around 45. Oh, was that all? Yeah. I thought it was more than that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I quickly right. made a count. It was between 45 and 50. Yeah. You know Counting the, all of us. Did you notice the first name? <laughs> I just happened to, I ended first up being, name right there. I just happened to be there. No one had signed in yet, so. Uh, <laughs> I would like to publicly uh, thank all, all of you and, uh, and, and the folks that took time out to, to come to the event. Um, it was a lot of work, a lot of planning, a lot of, um, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get it to that, to that point. 
Um, and on a personal note, to thank uh, James Conant, who's the um, uh, custodian. The, the custodian mm -hmm. there. I've known uh, I've, I've known Mr. Conant since first grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we go back a long way. Oh, yeah. And but I wanted to public publicly acknowledge um, the support that he gave and uh, hustling to get that uh, mm. that in order for us to have to have the event above and beyond those that to to arrange. And thank you, Reader, and the team for doing that. But um, I was watching him hustle, and um, I can say uh, that's a lot of hard work to move those sides because some of us stayed afterwards and to help move the chairs and to move the tables, and uh, it's not easy. So I just wanted to say thank you. So that you're going to put together that information in with all the other workshops? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. So, so what do we have five workshops? You had five, yep. Five. Yep. And that will all be part of the appendix. Yeah, likewise, the uh, big fat shout out to, to Jim and to folks at the Asawamsit for allowing us to have that event there. Very successful. There, you, you're doing some nice photography. I mean, I didn't do any of that yeah. photography, but <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, no, I mean, as a... No, I really like the layout of yeah. this plan. It was very easy to follow. Yeah. I read it online, and mm -hmm. even there it was... Not as intimidating as our no, one. Yeah. No, yeah, not at all. This, uh, yeah. this whole and, and I think that's a huge compliment because <coughs> pictures you don't happening. want it to be intimidating. Mm -hmm. You want it to be user friendly yeah. and to, to have mm -hmm. flow and to have a, you know, if you're reading it, sort of a certain cadence in your head of how you're reading it and the, and the flow of the information and it's easy enough to understand. And I think that's, uh, you know, that's a great compliment to all involved and to serve Fred and for, uh, and you know, of course, Reed and, the, and everyone else that's involved in the, in the actual writing uh, of the document, it's amazing. And this is, uh, I think, what we all envisioned early on. So to see it in a tangible form and to, to see an electronic form is it's exciting. It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. I feel very proud. And we should all be proud for, uh, for this. So. Yeah, can I ask how many, how many of these are you going to get, Maureen? How many of these Any copies of this? Well, the reason I ask, uh, them out, not for yeah. us, uh, but, but did, this is a sort of what do you hand out to people when they come? So no and one has actually you? come to visit on that particular subject, but I. But, point but them this is the sort of thing that you should. Sure, but I point them electronically for anything that I have, like for for any of those things. But we can absolutely. Because this. Have I think it's in the contract Jack, how many we they're going to produce. Oh, you know? okay. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and I can double check and that. And years ago, we didn't have Shouldn't a number online. of them be now sent over to the library for, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. for perusing Absolutely. over there? Absolutely. And maybe some yeah. at And yeah, we talked meeting. about that, but I'm just not but, sure how many. But, but this should be a sales tool for you and, uh, you, know, and you and Maureen and, you know, for people to show up. Maureen, the other one. That's what? not Maureen. Maureen. I, think we had <laughs> six, <laughs> I think we had 65 last time. I got them, the only one. But they were no, expensive. no, everyone does it. Yeah. Rita started calling us Laureen, so mm. she would capture us both. <laughs> 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 just in the same office. Yeah, no. I, I, I That's awesome. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, but um, I, I absolutely agree that we should have them and have them available for the public and have them strategically available for the public. Right. Um, but be able to send them the link and then put it out on Facebook yeah. and keep it on our website, you yeah. know, as part of a, you know, something interactive that people can access at any time. Mm -hmm. Never mind having a, you know, get out of their car and come yeah. in. And, and <laughs> highlight it because I know we, we, um, uh, we just had, a home cell two doors down from us and their new folks are coming in from out of town on I think March 16th is when they're passing papers um, so this is a great opportunity uh, so for me and not only as a neighbor uh, to go down and introduce myself he's also um, uh, somebody that we're looking forward to in the neighborhood to just say hello and how are you and how much do you know about Lakeville which I often do um, when new people move in yeah. Uh, give them a brief synopsis of Lakeville, what it is, yeah. uh, what we do, and then say, you know, this is awesome master plan. Do you want to know about Lakeville and where we're going in the future? And give them that 30-second elevator pitch yeah. and get them interested. And, um, you know, what I'm, I'm trying to figure out something. Like if I can get this reproduced on my own, uh, we do have uh, not a lot of turnover in the neighborhood, but enough to where I could just go in and, and uh, you know, introduce myself and then say, you know what, I'd like you to have this. So Lillian were you surprised gets a lot at the price? Yes. And I think on the yeah. second page of town meeting, you know how 
Mm -hmm. I, I used to put the town office building on there. Because you're going to talk about the master plan, have something like this with an announce that we can have the moderator announce that the final uh, master plan is done mm -hmm. and look in their uh, handout at town meeting for the, they can look at it electronically. Do you think we should pass something out in the tax bills too? The next. Doesn't I hurt. would. Quarter I anyway. absolutely would. If it yeah. doesn't, doesn't cost anything additional to the town. It's a little bit. It's okay. It's in the budget. If it's, if it's budget, I think yeah, the, the more so people the know, the better. To yeah. put any stuffer yep. in a tax bill. So the next one would be June 30th. Yeah. And then Perfect we can also timing. have the sign out front, right? That's, yeah, you're smiling. <laughs> Police department sign us on the yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. So now that's up and running. That's a great Our opportunity. Facebook page. So. Yeah, yeah. Facebook yeah. Yeah. gets three thousand yeah. hits a week at least. Does what has three thousand hits? Um Back 40? Our Facebook page. We have awesome. the analytics. We can yeah. see at least oh, you know, three people. Right there. people yeah. have looked this, this at yeah. and, and leverage that technology. Wilkies, yeah. I know we've been talking about yeah. it and about uh well, actually and Maureen's done a really good that section found by Ken Elliott. Word out, yeah, getting the word out. Yeah, so beating that drum and just being consistent and persistent with the mm -hmm. message and, and being proud of what we've done and, um, uh, you know, and just letting people know and, and not, Atlanta. we can't not talk about it, I guess, enough, so, which is a good thing. You know, people were referencing it on social media over the weekend. There was, I, I think there's someone, I think it's the person that's running for planning board. Um, I'm not sure her name, but I saw yeah. her. I think McEachern yeah, I saw is her, her last name, yeah, Michelle. Saying she's excited to see what this looks like. And, right? yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. No, so. but we had we, we moved our meeting last night, and uh, we, we, we missed everybody. I mean, didn't even have the, the board moved, but, uh, you know, where we can't go to the police station this week? Yes, this week so is we a moved to the, so dead we, week. Yeah. Uh, m most of us made it to the meeting. Yeah. But... Uh, we can have... Uh, I always text but, my but board. But none of the new <laughs> <people>. <laughs> Well, we used to do that, but awesome. <clears throat> All right. So, um, any other feedback from the from the uh, January 11th workshop at all? No, like I said, most of the comments that we received were were very positive, um, and people were excited to to get going on it once it once it was officially released. So, yeah, there was a couple I met who were brand new to Lakeville only by like a few, I think they said a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, an older couple um, uh, that uh, just loved Lakeville and they came down here for a specific reason and kind of chit-chatted and uh, they were excited about coming to the workshop. They had heard about it and it met their expectations and they were pretty stoked to go around and to actually learn. Um, and then we had a conversation um, and I turned you on to a couple of neighbors. Mm -hmm. Uh, and thank you for that. Oh, yeah. I appreciate they found that very helpful. They had some very specific questions, uh, which I was not able to answer, but uh, Maureen was able to, and I appreciate that. And uh, they uh, they appreciate it. So there are people out there that are interested. I, I did much the same thing you did with your new neighbor. I have a person that I, re I taught with at Stone High School, and he just moved to uh, the opposite the golf course on 79, what's the? LeBaron. LeBaron. Yes. Yeah, he did the same thing. So I gave him uh, one of the real estate maps, that, the freebie maps, and I gave him a copy of the uh, town report and said, here you go. And then you get the email. Where, where can I go to get my car fixed? Go to Kelly's. Okay? <laughs> you know, where, where's the car wash? You know, this, and I told him about, you know, different oh, yeah. Re yeah. recreational areas in town because they're a retired couple. They, you know, they yeah. got places to go. He, he was all excited. You know, he's coming from Brockton. So you can imagine, this is almost culture shock for this guy, change. you know? Yep. Oh, it is culture shock. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just met, uh, a lot see, of two here. days ago, I met a couple that came in from Plainville. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they've only been in our neighborhood uh, a short while. And one of the comments, it's a young couple with a young family, and they, they said that the silence and oh. the lack of street lights Place. was scary <laughs> at first because they were not used to it they're used to the hubbub and, and the and the hustle and bustle they can't and the noise sleep when it's quiet they can't they need sleep the background when it's quiet. noise <laughs> and he said it took them a while to get to get some background oh, yeah, noise yeah, yeah. um, but uh, you know for those well, they're between your house and mine yeah yeah so i think this is maybe really maybe actually a, it's a really cool thing, thing so to get that culture shock over but also inform them about the town so we got here but uh 
Well, this is good. All right. Well, you know what? Um, I'd like to move forward. Is there any other comments about uh, about the workshops? All right. So uh, we'll move forward. Jed, thank you for all of your hard work. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Um, oh, and I'll say that like you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. One more time. Take two. All right. Well, thank you so much. So I'd like to move on to agenda item three, and that's to approve the meeting minutes for January 7th. I will make a motion to approve. All right, second. anyone? Second. Second. All right, all in favor, aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Thank you very much. Let's schedule the next meeting. Oh. Shall what we? Would, what would be the proposed agenda for that? I mean, that's really the, a good question. It, once you send this to the planning board, mm -hmm. really your your next duty we, is, is to just, implement the plan yeah. after they endorse it. Yeah. So really it's just up to you to decide, you know, perhaps you just reconvene after that and you take a look at that timeline and you figure out uh, what are some of the first steps that you can start implementing. Right. Can start I, I would think that after these guys get through with it, and they're not meeting in for what two weeks? Zinc? You said the twelfth, exactly. right? March twelfth. Yeah. No, oh, they won't. Mm. You're not approving on the twelfth, though, are you? Oh sure. Okay. Well, <laughs> flexible <laughs> scheduling. So the only thing you might want to think about is getting feedback from the planning board. Th that's mm -hmm. what I was mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah. Of. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So do we want to have that as the major topic, the feedback from the planning board at our next meeting? Yep. All right. So if you're meeting yeah, on this, the, the same meeting we're having, is, we're also having our our major meeting for Island Terrace. This will be your last okay. meeting. Okay. Oh. Would so you? Would, be, it's it's quite a meeting. Would you be able to provide the feedback <coughs> and the update to this committee in in the not too distant future yes. from that meeting? Yes. Okay. So what do we want to look at if they're doing the twelfth? The twenty fourth. Tuesday the 24th? Provided that they endorse it on the 12th. Yeah. Oh, Correct. Yeah. Oh, Maureen won't be here, so he's skiing. How about March 31st? That's Tell your ride. Nice. Well, nice. Tuesday the 31st. You're not on an airplane, are you? March 31st would work. 31st. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? That's for good. Last time. Sounds great. Okay, okay so let's lock it down. 7 o'clock, Tuesday, March 31st. And for okay. the agenda, we'll have the uh, follow-up. On the planning board. Flying the on, you're flying on an airplane. At the police station? A self contained petri dish. Okay. We'll be having like, um, was it Vicks vapor up around my nose? <laughs> yeah. Possibly put it right in my eyes. My wife flew down to <laughs> Florida a few days back? ago. She's coming back next week. Yeah. She's not real happy about flying, but mm, no. appreciate your honesty. Take care of her family down there. Yeah. So there was, a, there was a question uh, from Lake Camp to. Uh, move this meeting on the 31st from this location to the police station. I don't know if it's available. We'd have to check, but I could let everybody know. Would everyone be amenable to that? It wouldn't make any difference to me. Absolutely. Think. It's a great place. Okay. Good sound. Good, good everything. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good to me. Moving forward to agenda item number five. Any other business that may properly come before the meeting? Hearing none. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. <clears throat> all right. All in favor, aye. 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 All right. Thank you for an awesome short meeting. 44 minutes. We got well you done. out of here, yeah. Tim. Yeah.